so for my hot topic presentation I'm doing games and simulations and their role with education and technology uh, specifically I'm critiquing how effective it is when teens use this kind of technology in school and some of my guiding questions are what are examples of games uh, who uses these games specifically uh, how are these games used to make education more efficient and effective uh, this topic is relevant to me and important because uh, this has always been a way that I've wanted to learn in school but I never really got the opportunity and it was just something that I thought was interesting uh, or so some of the key terms are simulation game obviously and basically that's just uh, it's a copy of various activities from real life in the form of a game for training analysis or prediction uh, and a specific type of simulation game is a business simulation and this kind of simulation is used for business training or or analysis um, from the perspective of the student the student is engaged with activities that are fun to them as you see on the screen right here this is a kid playing on a Game Boy DS and it makes in education a little more interesting because they're using a game that's helping them learn math as you see in this picture right here uh, from the perspective of a teacher uh, it puts a little less pressure on the teacher and for in, the, in terms of like communicating to the students effectively because uh, using games and simulations for kids and high schoolers is usually easier because everything that they usually do on a regular basis has to do with games and simulations all the time so they're more comfortable with it uh, my perspective of it is pretty much the same from the side of a student because I think it would be interesting and fun to learn through simulations and games because I'm consider myself a gamer um the its effect on society from a local standpoint uh, locally well I'm on a college campus uh, I think that college kids would love to be involved with something like this especially with everyone's busy schedules it would be kinda nice to relax and play a game or a simulation it could take some of the stress off of you uh, globally I'm sure other students out there around the world would like this type of learning and education but it might not be as easy to access because some countries aren't really internet uh, savvy yet so there are still some uh, situations in that such where they need to catch up um, but an example of this in real life is my little sister right now in high school uses these simulation games and she has fun with that and I talked to her about it I actually called her a couple of days ago to ask her exactly like what she thought about it she said it uh, was easy for her to learn it was fast and she even does extra work outside of school because like some of the games to her are just that fun and so yeah uh, this is just a very interesting thing um, but some examples of these games are like Sim City, and there's even some simulations where you uh, simulate construction and surgery and Sim City is like a game where you learn how to live on your own and that would be effective for like high school kids because like it lets you like figure out how to live on your own when you're in college uh, yeah well these games are really just a nice way for kids now, you see these kids right here they're playing the simulation game and you can just see the interest in their eyes like they really just really want to play the games but at the same time they're learning so it's not like some other games where I mean they're pretty much pointless like you do some pretty ridiculous stuff with some of the games these kids play but at least with these games they're learning how to play something that's going to help them in life 
and educate them and better them. Uh, so, uh, I think that in the future with these games, uh, there will be a lot more situations for kids to get better and learn through education.